Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice though. And then this is basically if you were to have it in like uh, the inside so of one of them. You got a skateboard. Uh huh. It's out of a skateboard and right. you just flip pods. Okay. So if you want to handle rush hour traffic in the morning, uh -huh. and then after that dies down, you flip it over to a uh, shipping container. Oh. And then back for rush hour, you can flip it back. Wow. Once time, you're delivering Grubhub for lunch or whatever, right? Right, 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 right. Delivering pizza or uh -huh. Amazon or whatever. And then again, rush hour, you go back. So you kind of maximize your utilization of the vehicle. Nice, nice. It has to be legal. And on the back, we have to be amber. Okay, how come? It's legal requirements. You're not allowed to have other, only white on the front of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. In the back, it has to be amber like your tail lamps and blankers. Oh, and gotcha. So you notice the front's white and the back. So it's reconfigurable, oh, so we have to stick with the white. Oh, okay, so that part where it's white has to stay white? Yeah. Oh, okay, now, okay. Unless they well, change the legal requirements. Gotcha. And the back for the stop sign has to be red. Yep. Got it, got it. The other thing we're doing is we're projecting crosswalks for the pedestrians. Okay. Because there's no driver, so you don't have that eye contact to know it's safe. Okay. So we have to communicate that I recognize you, it's safe to walk. So you can't do stuff like that, it has to just stay white? Or? Yeah, they're not. There's a blue green that indicates it's autonomous, mm -hmm. but otherwise it has to be like a white on the front of the vehicle. Gotcha. It's just a usual. That's all the light are using infrared lasers to scan the road. Okay. To know for drop. Gotcha. It's very cool. Thank you. No problem.